Welcome back to Techspin, and today we're checking out the Lian Ni O11 Vision Compact thanks to them loaning us a sample. The O11 Vision Compact offers a slightly smaller overall size and adds a few features over the previous O11 Vision, notably an included top mesh configuration and the ability to hide AIO tubes in the second chamber. O11 Vision builds have been a hit with many, and I've been wanting to try my hand at another all glass panel build myself. I recently did a build in an O11 Vision, so let's compare the new version and see what it brings to the table. Let's get to it. The O11 Vision Compact took everything that made the first version great, and with a few centimeters shaved off each side, they brought down the overall size to 57.4 liters, down 10 from the Vision. They included a top mesh panel, added BTF ATX support, the ability to hide AIO tubing in the second chamber with a CPU block pass-through, and a rear pass-through for easier support of aftermarket IPS screens. The triple tempered glass still delivers a beautiful showcase for your components, though going with the top mesh option, you can install an AIO there, and the front IO has a 20G Type-C connector. The reversible side bracket allows easy fan or radiator mounting, and airflow and case temps should be about the same or slightly better, with the same size fans and locations, clearing less volume. Compared to the O11 Vision, gone is the up-down motherboard tray positioning and rear AIO support due to less height, though you can still fit dual 120mm fans there. The reset button is absent, and the power button design changed, and the GPU anti-sag bracket has changed to a side support which is height adjustable. With a bit less width, most GPUs should still fit without any issues. As always though, just be aware of your graphics card width plus wiring to the glass or you might need a right angle connector or GPU vertical mount. For the design, price, and what the O11 Vision Compact gives in flexibility and looks, it's a really good value and I recommend it. The O11 Vision Compact keeps ATX motherboard, ATX PSU, and large GPU compatibility, shaving off a few centimeters on each side and reducing overall volume from 67.8 liters to 57.4, a space saving of 10.4 liters. The case comes with three glass panels, the top glass is shipped in a protective foam clamshell, and the big upgrade here is the top mesh panel which allows mounting for fans and AIOs. Shipped by default in the mesh configuration, the support pillar seen here is only for shipping and not needed for a top-mounted 360 radiator. At $120 US MSRP, this white with clear tempered glass also comes in a black version with slightly tinted glass. The O11 Vision Compact adds support for BackConnect or BTF ATX motherboards with EATX, ATX, MicroATX, and Mini-ITX. Regular ATX PSUs are supported with CPU cooler clearance at 167mm and GPU length at 408mm, so that shouldn't be a problem for long GPUs. If you have a very wide GPU, you should always check clearance for it, adding about 35mm extra for wiring, or you may consider using a right angle 12 volt high power connector or an optional vertical GPU mount sold separately. With the top glass, the O11 Vision Compact supports eight 120mm fans, and with the top mesh, it adds space for either two 140s or three 120s, airflow coming in from the right and bottom, and exhaust from the rear and top if you've chosen the mesh option. Three removable brackets make fan and AIO installation super easy. The bottom and top brackets remove with a few screws. The reversible side bracket is secured by a thumb screw. In this four position, you can hide the radiator tubing into the second chamber. I'll throw the cutout dimensions up. The CPU block and tubes would go through this large grommet and cutout and into these routing channels after you remove the cable cover. This position has 36 millimeters of clearance to the GPU, and in reversed mode, there's 110 millimeters of clearance, so you have options for your ideal configuration. Front panel top right has the backlit power button, which is easy to press. At the bottom, the foot integrated front IO has two USB 3.0 ports, a mic audio combo jack, and a 20G type C port. The bottom dust filter slides out the left side and holds against the case with four magnets. I mentioned BTF ATX support which hides all cables behind the tray and a cover for the EPS cutout for non-BTF boards provides a clean look. Since the area above the motherboard is perfect for an IPS display, we have a new feature. They only added a rear pass-through grommet to make it easy to run the display wiring to a USB port on the rear I.O. Two long grommets run the length of the motherboard side and there's a height adjustable GPU support bracket that supports long GPUs and tightens with a thumb screw behind. The metal cable covers holds closed with two magnets and open with one, and the cover supports dual SSDs or is easy access for fan or ARGB hubs. Behind and below the motherboard tray, two drive cages which support either a hard drive or SSD lock into the rear panel with triple SSD type slide grommets and secure with a screw. 
and a cage or two could be left out if you needed more space or clearance for BTF wiring. The O11 Vision Compact keeps the dual layer cable clips from the previous version, but gone are the multiple vertical mount points for these as the area now has BTF cutouts. Six additional straps help cable management above and below. Also kept is the 15mm protruded PSU mounting bracket to make more space in the chamber and it keeps the exterior to tie down points. Usually I'd do some case testing here, but I have this for only two days and I have the fans here, but my test setup is not here right now. So we'll compare it to the original O11 Vision right after you hit the like button down there because you've been watching this far. You obviously like the video, it's free and it helps out a lot. And while you're down there, hit the subscribe button and shopping through the affiliate links also supports the channel. The O11 Vision Compact is a refinement to the original, slightly smaller in all dimensions, but very capable. Adding new features like BTF ATX support and the included mesh option makes it more versatile, although since the key selling point is triple glass, at least the option is there and you don't have to hunt down an accessory. Shorter height and length doesn't cause any issues, however width might just be a factor only for the widest GPUs. You should definitely check your card width and add some for wiring to see if it's under 167mm. If you're just shy, there are options like a right angle 12 volt high power connector or the universal 4 slot vertical GPU kit with Gen 4 riser that Lian Li sells optionally. The new CPU block pass through and grommet for the AIO is a cool idea, although on this pre-retail sample it was a bit easy to knock out, a bit hard to put back, and the teeth aren't perfectly lined up. I'd be really careful with AIOs with pre-applied thermal paste as the CPU block passes through first and there's a chance the paste gets on the teeth then on tubing. The new rear tubing channels are interesting and I'm curious to see a finished build. Okay, so what's gone from the original Vision? Notably gone is the high-low motherboard mounting tray positions with rear panel covers to match and rear panel radiator support. Two fans can still fit, but I know some of you find a spot for a screen there, so dimensions are 124 wide by 250 millimeters high in this location. The reset button got removed, and while I really like the Vision's easy to press corner power button, it's moved off the corner while remaining small so it's personally not quite as easy to press for my large fingers. For improvement, I'd like to see the reset button make a comeback, and the power button either slightly larger or back at the corner again. The CPU block pass-through is a little small and tricky, so some kind of screwed down cover access to just remove and pass the tubes right through would be a cool solution. I'd like to see better adjustability for the GPU support as it has height adjustment, but no swivel or lateral flexibility, so hopefully the post clears your GPU's fan blades. However, if it doesn't, the Anli does sell two different anti-sag brackets to help you out. Keeping everything that made the previous O11 Vision great while adding BTF support, a mesh top, and a cleaner look is fantastic. Considering the MSRP of $120 for triple tempered glass panels, the versatility and improvements, this is an easy recommendation for your next build. If you pick the Lian Li O11 Vision Compact or another case, shopping through our affiliate links below will help us here with no extra cost to you. And follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Techspin Review. That's it for today, and let me know your thoughts or experience with this case, or let me know which one you're thinking of getting next. If you're considering buying an alternative, maybe I can grab a hot pick from your recommendations. Whether it's cases or other tech, let me know what you'd like to see reviewed next. Join the discussion in the comments, and please hit like, subscribe, and click again and select all to see upcoming episodes. As always, I really appreciate you watching this far, thanks for your time, and we'll see you on the next. Bye for now.